Good day friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and a user asks how to space things evenly in Tinkercad. I've got a strategy, so let's get cracking. Friends, of course, the first step is to hit create new design. Now the user mentioned drill bits, so I'm going to type drill bits up here so I can keep track of my files. I'm going to put them in a rectangle. When I bring the rectangle out, I'm going to choose how large I want to make it. For this project, I'm going to say 80 millimeters or 8 centimeters. I'm going to make it 40 centimeters this way. I'm going to make it 3 millimeters thick. That would be pretty sturdy. I think the radius would look cool if I beveled it to 2. And now I've got the place where I'm going to put the holes. So let's bring out the first hole. I'm going to change the sides all the way to 64. When it comes in, it's set at size 20. I'm going to say that I want my bits to go from 2 millimeters to 6 millimeters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to stretch this crazy big. And then I'm going to type the 2 millimeters and press enter. Let's use F to fit view. Notice it was too skinny to poke through. So I'm going to change the height to 4 millimeters so it pokes out. Let's grab these two pieces, do a line. I'm going to put it at the front edge and the left edge. So here's how we're going to move it. I'm going to switch my nudge to 5. I'm going to come up one click. I'm going to come over one click, and I've got my first spot for my drill bit. All right, friends, so this is going to require a little bit of brute force. Let's start by just doing Control D, nudge two clicks over, which is 10 millimeters because of what we did with our 5 millimeter nudge. If you don't touch anything else and just do Control D all the way across, you can fill it with holes. Let's hide our large piece for a second and then zoom in and let's always grab this back corner here switch to a one millimeter nudge and if you just hold shift and stretch it back there it switches to three four five six and I'm gonna just delete these and make it shorter because you get the idea I'm gonna hit show all to bring them back I'm going to take this down and arrange it. Now these are not lined up evenly or even straight, so let's quickly fix that. We will hide those and just center them. So now that looks pretty nice. Now to get these even, remember they each got different sizes, we're just going to nudge over until we're happy. So it is not perfectly aligned, but you can see you can build it pretty quick. I'm going to bring that back to the size I want. When I'm happy, you can simply group it and you have just created some sort of organizer for your drill bits. If you don't like it after you group it, like I don't like this distance, check it out. You can double click and you can adjust it inside. So I'm gonna do two clicks and one click. When I click outside, that, my friends, is pretty sweet. All right, friends, it wasn't automatic, but as you can see, it does work pretty slick. And once you double click, you can edit afterwards and still make it look just the way you want. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.